Well, boys, you can see where we're at. We are back with part three. And I have got everything set up how I would like it. And what now we are dealing with is 100% just a timing situation. What I need to do is when I see Lord Koi pop out of that water and start pathing back towards me, I have to start the charm process. And if random number hits correctly and we get this thing charmed where it's at, then Lord Koi will engage us down on this ramp, and we are, I have fought on this ramp, you know, 41 times. The, they, the drakes do not add. Um, but I'm going to pull back as far as I can where I'm in this waterfall, and then send the pet and get the win. Um, it's just a matter of getting the number, random number to hit. If the, if this, if Char Bones doesn't land the first time, then I have to feign death off and start again. I put Siri on passive for, for this. This is my third take of trying to get the fight started since the death. You can see, you know, I'm I'm here. Never mind. You need to, you need to just get going right now. Okay, guys, this is it. Okay. This is it. And we got it this time. I'm sure of it. I'm absolutely sure of it. Come on, right there. Oh, no, they're in the water. Guys, now it's just a matter of execution. No mistakes on this. And we'll get the win. I need to get a slow on. I need to get echo on. Come back around to slow here in six more seconds. Okay, time for try slow. Nothing. We're still doing just fine. We're gonna try for another slow. Getting close to start the big burn. Okay, got the slow on. And okay, there we go. Prep, burn, click, last gift for a while. Here we go, boys. I'm gonna hit chaotic or search for chaotic. Come on. Didn't get it. Need fires. Night and then back around. Let's get a chaotic. Come on. Still still didn't get it. Another wounds. I've got six double cast, so I need oblivion. Five crystal pallid. Gonna go for it. Come on, chaotic. Still nothing. Small pyre. Broil. That's it. We're done. Get Ignite on. Um, we're getting low on mana, which is fine. 
will switch over soon. Fortunately, he's just... He's taking a real... I mean this in the best way. Well, he's taking a damn beat. Uh, I'm at 1.165, which is absolutely nuts. So even though I haven't hit a chaotic power, my DPS is through. We've got all the dots on we need. Our aggro is low. I mean, I don't even have disease on right now. I need to get it on. And finally, a chaotic. Skells, Big Pyre, I think we're going to wrap this one up with over a million DPS on our final kill, this guy should, guys, um, there it is boys, there it is, look at that. Get out of this water. Boys. Wow. I I really didn't think it was gonna happen. That that was a hard one. But you guys know what to do. Fight them in the water. Don't mess around anywhere else. That's, that's close. That's real close. That's nice. I... I am pumped. What is this? Another another bag. I picked that one up on the collections. Um, 42. Okay, big boy. Alright, well... That's cool. I assume it's... Yeah, right there. Guys... Man, I am excited that I got this kill. This was this zone is not not good um, when you get down into this when you get to the second level. The first level you've got the professor and you got showing. Those are easy ones. There's charmable mobs that you can use. Uh, Templeton the Clear, actually, I'll, you know, uh, he's on the second level, but you've got a Charmable Mobs close to him. But Whisperwing, uh, the Raptor, uh, Dagarn the Destroyer, and Lord Koi, you've got to do some, some Necro stuff in order to get your Charmable Mob where you need it. And I've got plenty of videos showing you what I had to do in order for that to happen. Um... It's just, you just gotta, you just gotta, you gotta move them where you, and put them where you need them to be. You know, use darkness, use root punt, use whatever it takes to get them set up. Um, clearly for Lord Koi, you fight on the ramp or in the walk. But the way to set up the fight is get your gargoyle set here on this ramp. When you see... The fish head dragon step up and he starts pathing over. Immediately start the charm charm process. If the charm if your char bones doesn't land on the first shot, I would recommend feign death. Dump it. Well, I would hit snare and then hit feign death because he's gonna hang out in the water, path back and forth, and then he's eventually gonna path back to the other side of, of the room and then just reset yourself and when you see him come out of that side ramp start the charm process again once you get him you know engaged get the burn going let me let me read this off to you guys lord koi doken total hit points 248 million 2486682900 a time of 225 seconds oh my gosh 1.1 million dps 
I broke I broke one million easily. I broke one point one. Wow. I'll put all the numbers in the description like I always do. This was a good execution once I got in the engagement. Boys, I hope you enjoyed Sky Shrine, because to be honest, I did. It's it's not a bad zone. It's still no Temple of the Sheen, but I have a very soft spot for Temple. As far as just, eat, just camping, I would say that Sky Shrine is probably an easier zone to just tag the placeholder mobs and then move on. Um, because you've got the possibility of Professor, the Raptor, and Shown. All three of them are, are their traditional placeholder than the name spawns. The, 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 there's a, the Lord Koi is a trigger mob. Um, but, you know, I drop Raptor. To be honest, guys, I would zone in. I would run to Professor, clear its, clear its placeholder, run to Shone, clear its placeholder, and get out. That's two. Then clear some mobs and Cobalt Scar, and then come back and just just farm those names. Get your ore, get your get your gear. Okay, I'm rambling. Boys, I'm really excited. I, I wrap this up. I I I don't plan on doing this. But we'll see. I hope you guys learned something from this Sky Shrine series. It's really taught me um, how to. It's taught me to look for the mobs that I need and get them to where I need them to be. Boys, see you in the next video.